By the late 18th and early 19th century, American theology is becoming more optimistic. Now, that doesn't just happen in a vacuum. Uh, that optimism is part of what we've already seen from the Enlightenment, what we're already seeing as developing European thought in the 19th century. And um, that optimism will take a slightly different form in America, but it will end up being, in many circles, an attack on Calvinism. In the 17th and 18th century in America, Calvinism had been the dominant religious expression in the dominant denominations, Congregational, Presbyterian, Episcopalian. But in the latter 18th century and on into the 19th century, Calvinism begins to be seen as excessively pessimistic. Uh, as excessively tied to old ways of thinking and doing things, as excessively tied to the old order of things. You remember, America had, in Massachusetts, in uh, Pennsylvania, in, in Virginia, it had established churches. Uh, the es Episcopal Church was established in Virginia. The Congregational Church was established in Massachusetts. And the Calvinist clergy were well-educated and used to a rather comfortable lifestyle. And as that old established church way of thinking began to crumble with the revolution, as education became, began to be suspected, doesn't education just lead, lead you to read those European books and confuse you? Uh, as the country began to move west, and the educated, well-paid Calvinist clergy weren't so interested in making nothing on the frontier, uh, life began to change in America. Calvinism began to recede as the dominant influence in American religious life. And so by 1850, the two largest denominations in America were the Methodists and the Baptists. No longer the Episcopalians and the Congregationalists and the Presbyterians. There had been a dramatic change that was taking place in America. The retreat of Calvinism, the advance of the frontier, all shaping and remaking American religion, driven to a significant extent by a kind of optimism that things can be different, things can be better. And our new approach, our newer approach to religion, that will come to be called the second awakening in America, 